Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for September 25th, 2021. If we add all those numbers together, we get the number 21. And if you add the 2 and the 1 together, you get the number 3. The number 3 is associated with the planet Neptune and is connected to the sign of Pisces. As such, it is a watery and slippery number that is elusive and constantly shifting like the currents in the ocean. This allows us today to want to understand the depths in our life that sometimes elude us, but it also wants to show us to where we can deceive ourselves. Sometimes we just want to escape this reality and live in the glitter and glamour of our inner reality rather than deal with the constant density of the human condition. The number three wants to be idealistic and imaginative, but today with the astrology, it may point out the fantasies that we have been holding on to that are clearly out of our reach and no amount of illusion will let those appear in this moment as real. Such a moment causes confusion and depression. It can make some want to overindulge and escape the heartache of this life. Karma rides the waves of life, but it is interesting how our external conflicts reflect the internal striving that seems to pull us out of truth and dealing with this reality constructively. Today, try to not get ahead of yourself. Notice if you are desperate to make life better in some way. Know that that desperation is another form of illusion that will make a person leap for things that are not in alignment with your soul's purpose. Stay calm. Stay the course. Stay on purpose. Walk slowly towards that goal that calls to your soul. That is how you will find what is most important in the end. And it is often not what we want our mind to believe or what we want to be true. The astrology today. This evening, the moon will move out of the peace-loving sign of Taurus and into the engaging and social sign of Gemini. While we want to keep things on track, connection and communication become even more important. Mars and Saturn trine, and that will help us find more discipline, determination and constructive action and some energy that we need over the next few days, if not weeks or months. Right now, we need to get something handled and finished. We need to take things slow. We need to have methods that allow us to progress in a way that gives back hope. Direction is important and finding our purpose will help us relate in ways that allow others to see our authentic and vulnerable heart. Take more time to connect with those in your life that need to see how reliable you are regardless of circumstances. My quote for today. Daydreaming is fine for those that have the time to wallow in the illusions that entice the mind. But life calls out, makes things real. Life requires more than dreams. So we learn to deal. Deal with the hurt and the wounds of our past. Deal with the longing that we have amassed. It is hard to look at the bright light of truth. It is hard to realize that we are no longer in our youth. We will live this life as best we can. And every day, try to make a new plan. And my blog for today. I am learning acceptance and stillness. I am learning to embrace the small things. I am learning that karma will lead us until we learn. I am learning that sunrises and sunsets are important. I am learning that being kind in this world matters. I am learning that tomorrow gives another chance. I am learning that worrying only leads downward. I am learning that complaining holds us in the dark. I am learning that this life holds blessings if one is willing to look past the surface and the obvious. I know that life is, uh, sorry, I know that death is not final, just a pause in the circle of life. I know that I will dance through this stage again. I know that the pull of creating in this physical world is a powerful lure. I know many of you are desperately tired of the struggles that keep manifesting because of the greed opinions and beliefs of others. I know that you are not alone. I know that we can make things so much better. I know that one person is not strong enough. I know that the only uh, that only when things are the most strained will we turn off this path of destruction and onto the path of love. Thanks everyone.